it's Miss K Chris and welcome back to my channel if you are new here I'm Miss K Chris and I do advice videos about flight attendant interview tips and also I do videos about beauty and travel vlogs and also my daily life so if you are interested in those kinds of things make sure that you subscribe to this channel welcome back to this series can I still be a flight attendant if okay and today's question that we're going to answer is Hmm, can I still be a flight attendant if I am short? If I am really short, okay? So if you really, if you want to know the answer to this question, just keep on watching. <laughs> all the time ever since I started my blog and the more when I started my YouTube videos and I keep on answering the question again and again but then somehow I still get the same question from all of you guys so once and for all I hope that this video I hope that this video will will finally uh, be able to answer the question to those um, future uh, viewers who haven't seen my previous answers yet so here I'm going to uh, talk about uh, how can you become a flight attendant if you are short okay what we are talking about is somewhere like 5 foot 4 11 uh, first of all I want to address the reason why airlines are looking for tall people to be a flight attendant it is actually not because that you look good if you're taller there are a lot of short people who are also good looking and um, it is not a reason uh, it is not because they just wanted to and it is not a meaningless a meaningless thing there is a reason why they put this up on their um, requirements so the main reason for that is uh, flight attendants are there in the airplane mainly for safety reasons security and safety reasons uh, your main role there the reason that you're there aside from doing the service being friendly and being good-looking is that in case of an emergency you will be the one in charge okay you are going to be the safety person so what you need to do as a safety person is you need to reach safety equipments that are placed in the airplane and these safety equipments are not always put down okay because there are uh, you need a lot of space when you are in an airplane so uh, some and most of the equipments are put up not just the overhead bins but there are places over the galley or the kitchen area or over the um, the passengers area where some of the equipments are put really high up so they need to have people who will be able to reach them right away in case of an emergency so that is the reason why some uh, the airlines are requiring people with a certain height because this certain height and reach um, capability that's why they do reach tests especially in Qatar is because you need to reach a specific thing in a specific situation so that's the reason why people need tall people uh, why airlines need tall people as a flight attendant um, how tall are we talking about so we are talking about people who are usually 5'3 156 or 157 centimeters and sometimes some airlines will ask for 160 centimeters for their applicants this is because we have different each airline have different um, each airline has different uh, requirement why uh, again you might ask it's because sometimes another airline has a different kind of airplane and another airline has a different kind of airplane sometimes they do a wide body big airplane so they need like really tall girls for that and then there are other companies that fly small planes so it really doesn't matter because um, everything is within reach there is no like height requirement to reach so for you if you are below 53 or if you are below 5 157 your job is to make sure you research where you are trying to uh, where you are trying to apply okay <laughs> because um, sometimes there are small companies that will allow you to become a flight attendant or reach your dream as a flight attendant because they have small planes so you can apply to those and also sometimes um, when the airline that is hiring has a lot of applicants 
that are uh, applying to them, they have this massive amounts of uh, droves and droves of applicants that are there. So they want to filter them. They want to filter them by putting up strict requirements, like the height requirements. So there are also times that they need flight attendants, but there are there is no one applying to them because it's either they're applying to other airlines or they are not interested in becoming a flight attendant or they are already like um, uh, a few major airlines have already made their hiring and they are already hired over there so or sometimes uh, an airline company most of their uh, flight attendants move into another airline because they they just recently hired so these are the opportunities that you have to look for if you are below 53 because there are certain times wherein a company will put down their requirements their height requirements they will put it like uh, two inches down or, or like they will not put a height requirement at all they will just put a reach requirement so that's the total point of it that's the only reason that they put the height requirement so that you could reach it right so what if you don't reach the height but you can reach the I mean your physical height is not 5'3 but you can reach the safety equipment where it is placed so if that is the case they can still hire you okay and they just do this on those instances where their demand is very high and their supply of applicants is very low so my advice for you guys is to make sure that you watch out for opportunities like this because this happened uh, when I was in Pal Express and this happened only for Cebu that time they abolished the height requirements they just did the reach test so it can happen it is possible so if I'm not saying that just because you are not 5'3 you will not get the flight attendant what I'm saying if you are not 5'3 you have to be more alert you have to be more smart and you have to be more aware where are these companies that are hiring like that you have to be aware of the supply and demand that is happening on right now so yeah um, this happens a lot even in Saudi there was a time in 2014 when they have posted they need a height requirement of 165 centimeters and what happened is that small amount of people went there so what IPAMS did the next week they said uh, I mean the, after two weeks they said okay we are open for uh, 160 <laughs> so they you know you see the trend they don't have enough supply they would level down their requirements so that is what you are <laughs> needing to watch out for so I feel like I'm going in circles already but I hope you get my point okay so that's it um, that is my uh, say on this matter so I hope that you guys uh, it's clear <laughs> I hope that it's clear for you guys I'm not so sure but if you are <laughs> as well as worried on how to get the job as a flight attendant aside from the hype you have to make sure that you read my book get a copy of my book ready for takeoff eight proven steps to get your dream job as a flight attendant because on this book i put all the things that i needed to uh i needed to know before applying for the position and um, this is actually my cheat sheet my very own personal uh, way to remind myself of the things that I learned throughout those years that I was applying and all the lessons that I learned it is all in here and I'm sharing it to you guys through this book so you can get a copy on this book through amazon.com or you can get it if you are from the Philippines you can get it in shopee.ph or my website directly if you want to order through my website we ship every Sundays and the cut off for orders is every Saturdays only in the Philippines so on Amazon you can order it anytime <laughs> okay there's no cut off and there's no shipping it's a different thing but yeah this is actually a 549 pesos with with ship with free shipping nationwide so make sure that you get a copy of this and learn a lot from what I've been through when applying to uh, almost all airline in companies in the Philippines for about eight years of my time <laughs> yeah I was applying since 19 and I do have a video about my struggle to be a flight attendant make sure that you check that out uh, it's here on my channel and I will link it down below for you as well so if you like this video guys make sure that you give it a like 
and share it to your friends who wants to be a flight attendant share the love and make sure that you subscribe to this channel if you haven't been already subscribed and click on that notification bell so that you will be notified if i have new videos coming up okay so <laughs> thank you for watching this video it's been really fun if you have any other questions put it on the comment down below so that i would know okay and i will see you guys on the next video fly with you soon Bye!